A new ocean is splitting Africa in half, and scientists can't explain what it means for the birthplace of mankind. But what they're desperately trying to hide will change everything you thought you knew about human civilization. Picture this, a classified meeting at the United Nations headquarters. September 2024, geologists from 12 countries staring at satellite data that shouldn't exist. The African continent is literally tearing itself apart creating a massive rift that will birth a new ocean within 10 million years. But buried in the seismic data is something that terrifies them. Evidence that this has happened before. Evidence that previous civilizations witnessed this exact phenomenon. Evidence that Africa isn't just splitting apart, it's revealing secrets that could rewrite human history. Chronicles of Blacks. The lead scientist reaches for his phone to alert the media, then stops. What if the world isn't ready to know that the birthplace of humanity is about to transform in ways that challenge everything we've been taught about human evolution and migration? This isn't science fiction. This is the most explosive geological discovery of the century and it's been hidden from the public while governments and institutions scramble to control the narrative about Africa's true role in human history. Today we're exposing the truth about the East African Rift and why this geological phenomenon threatens to destroy the carefully constructed lies about human origins. We'll reveal why scientists refuse to acknowledge Africa as humanity's birthplace, the shocking statistics they've been suppressing, and what this new ocean means for the future of human civilization. But first, let me tell you what they don't want you to know about the systematic suppression of Africa's role in human evolution. For over a century, Western scientists have been desperately trying to minimize Africa's importance in human history, despite overwhelming evidence that modern humans evolved in Africa 300,000 years ago, that the oldest human fossils are found in Africa, and that genetic studies prove all non-African populations descended from African ancestors the establishment continues to downplay the continent's significance. Here are the facts they don't want you to know. 99.9% .9 of human evolutionary history occurred in Africa. The oldest human fossils, dating back 300,000 years, were found in Morocco. The oldest stone tools, 3.3 million years old, were discovered in Kenya. Genetic studies show that all humans outside Africa descended from a small group that left the continent just 70,000 years ago. Yet despite this overwhelming evidence, less than 5% of paleoanthropology funding goes to African research institutions. Over 80% of human evolution studies are conducted by Western researchers who extract fossils and data from Africa while contributing nothing to local scientific development. But what's happening in the East African Rift will force them to confront the truth they've been hiding. The East African Rift stretches over 3,000 kilometers from Ethiopia's Afar Depression to Mozambique, making it the largest active continental rift system on Earth. This massive geological feature is literally tearing Africa apart at a rate of six to seven millimeters per year. Within five to 10 million years, it will create a new ocean that will separate East Africa from the rest of the continent. But here's what they're not telling you about this phenomenon. The rift isn't just splitting Africa geographically, it's exposing geological layers that contain the most complete record of human evolution on Earth. As the continent tears apart, it's revealing fossil sites, archaeological evidence, and geological formations that prove Africa has been the center of human innovation and development for millions of years. The Afar Depression, where the rift is most active, has already sunk 100 to 25 meters below sea level. This region, known as the Cradle of Humanity, contains fossils spanning six million years of human evolution. Lucy, the famous 3.2 million year old Australopithecus afarensis was found here. So were the oldest stone tools ever discovered. But the establishment doesn't want you to know that this region is about to become inaccessible as seawater floods in from the Red Sea and Indian Ocean will reveal the discovery that could change everything about human origins. But first, you need to understand the scope of this geological transformation. The East African Rift is powered by three tectonic plates pulling apart. 
the Nubian plate, the Somalian plate, and the Arabian plate are diverging at the Afar Triangle, creating a triple junction that generates massive geological forces. These forces have created the Rift Valley, home to some of Africa's most important archaeological sites. The Great Rift Valley contains over 400 fossil sites spanning 7 million years of human evolution. It's here that scientists have found evidence of the earliest human ancestors, the development of stone tool technology, the control of fire, and the emergence of modern human behavior. But as the rift widens and deepens, many of these sites are becoming unstable. Earthquakes, volcanic activity, and ground subsidence are threatening to destroy irreplaceable evidence of human evolution before it can be properly studied. In 2005, a massive earthquake in the Afar region created a 60 kilometer crack in just days. This event, which normally would take thousands of years, demonstrated how rapidly the rift is accelerating. Scientists recorded over 130 earthquakes in a single week, each one widening the gap between the African plates. But here's what really terrifies the scientific establishment. The accelerating rift activity is exposing new fossil sites faster than they can be excavated and studied. Local communities are finding human remains, stone tools, and archaeological artifacts that predate anything previously discovered. But Western institutions are blocking access to these sites, claiming they need to control the research to maintain scientific standards. The truth is, they're terrified that African researchers will make discoveries that challenge Western narratives about human evolution and migration. Recent discoveries in the Rift Zone have already begun to rewrite human history. In 2019, researchers found 300,000-year-old human fossils in Morocco that pushed back the origins of modern humans by 100,000 years. In 2020, stone tools dating to 2.6 million years ago were discovered in Algeria, proving that human technology developed much earlier than previously thought. But these discoveries are being systematically downplayed or ignored by mainstream scientific institutions that have built their careers on outdated theories about human evolution. However, the geological forces creating the new ocean are about to make this suppression impossible. As the East African Rift continues to widen, it's creating new opportunities for fossil discovery while simultaneously threatening existing sites. The Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania, where some of the most important early human fossils were found, is experiencing increased seismic activity that could destroy irreplaceable evidence. Lake Turkana in Kenya, which has yielded fossils spanning four million years of human evolution, is shrinking as the rift alters regional water patterns. The lake has already dropped 10 meters in the past decade, exposing new fossil-bearing sediments while threatening the preservation of existing sites. But the most shocking discovery is what's happening beneath the rift itself. Deep drilling projects have revealed that the East African Rift sits on top of massive magma chambers that extend hundreds of kilometers into the Earth's mantle. These chambers are not just driving the continental breakup, they're also preserving a geological record that spans hundreds of millions of years. As magma rises through the rift, it's bringing up rock formations and mineral deposits that contain evidence of ancient climates ecosystems, and possibly even earlier forms of life. This geological treasure trove could revolutionize our understanding of not just human evolution, but the entire history of life on Earth. But Western institutions are working to control access to this information. The International Continental Scientific Drilling Program, dominated by European and American institutions, has established exclusive research agreements that prevent African scientists from leading studies in their own continent. These agreements ensure that any major discoveries will be controlled by Western institutions and interpreted according to their preferred narratives. This is scientific colonialism at its worst. African resources and discoveries being extracted and controlled by foreign institutions while local communities and researchers are excluded from the benefits. But the new ocean forming in Africa will change this dynamic forever. As the rift widens and seawater begins to flood in from the Red Sea and Indian Ocean, it will create new marine ecosystems and geological formations. The transition from continental to oceanic environment will accelerate fossil exposure and create new opportunities for discovery. 
but it will also make many existing sites inaccessible, forcing a race against time to document and preserve evidence of human evolution before it's lost forever. The statistics are staggering. The East African Rift contains over 70% of all known early human fossil sites. It's home to 15 different species of early humans and human ancestors. The region has produced over 10,000 individual fossil specimens spanning 7 million years of evolution. Yet less than 10% of potential fossil sites in the rift have been systematically excavated. Thousands of sites remain unexplored due to lack of funding, political instability, and deliberate exclusion of African researchers from international projects. But here's what's really shocking about this situation. The same geological forces that are creating the new ocean are also revealing evidence that challenges fundamental assumptions about human migration and development. Recent discoveries suggest that early humans were far more advanced and widespread than previously thought. Stone tools found in the rift zone show evidence of sophisticated manufacturing techniques that predate similar technologies in other parts of the world by hundreds of thousands of years. Rock art and symbolic artifacts suggest that modern human behavior emerged in Africa much earlier than previously believed. But these discoveries are being suppressed because they contradict narratives about human development that place Europe and Asia at the center of technological and cultural innovation. The truth is that Africa has always been the center of human innovation and development. The continent that gave birth to humanity also nurtured its technological, cultural and social evolution for millions of years before humans spread to other continents. But acknowledging this truth would require admitting that Western civilization is built on African foundations and that the continent's marginalization in modern times represents a historical aberration rather than natural order. The new ocean splitting Africa will make this truth impossible to ignore. As the East African Rift continues to evolve, it will create new opportunities for research and discovery while simultaneously threatening existing evidence. The race to document and preserve Africa's role in human evolution is becoming more urgent every day, but the establishment continues to prioritize control over collaboration, extraction over empowerment, and narrative maintenance over truth-seeking. The geological transformation of Africa represents more than just continental drift. It's a metaphor for the tectonic shifts needed in how we understand human history African contributions to civilization, and the future of scientific research on the continent. The new ocean will physically separate East Africa from the rest of the continent, but it will also symbolically represent Africa's emergence as an independent center of scientific research and discovery. Local institutions are already beginning to assert control over their own archeological and paleontological heritage. The University of the Witwatersrand in South Africa Addis Ababa University in Ethiopia and the National Museums of Kenya are developing independent research programs that challenge Western monopolies on African discoveries. These institutions are training African researchers, developing local expertise, and ensuring that discoveries made on African soil benefit African communities and contribute to African scientific development. But they're facing resistance from international institutions that have built their reputations and funding on exclusive access to African sites and specimens. The battle for control over Africa's scientific heritage is intensifying as the geological transformation of the continent accelerates. The new ocean forming in the East African Rift will create new challenges and opportunities for understanding human evolution and African contributions to civilization. It will force a reckoning with the systematic exclusion of African voices from discussions about their own continent's history and significance. But it will also provide new opportunities for African-led research and discovery that could revolutionize our understanding of human origins and development. The question is whether the international scientific community will embrace this transformation and support African leadership in studying their own continent or whether they will continue to prioritize control and extraction over collaboration and empowerment. The geological forces splitting Africa cannot be stopped or controlled by human institutions, but the scientific and cultural implications of this transformation can still be shaped by the choices we make about how to study and interpret these changes. The birthplace of humanity is transforming before our eyes, 
the question is whether we'll allow this transformation to be controlled by the same institutions that have marginalized Africa for centuries, or whether we'll embrace a new model of scientific collaboration that recognizes African leadership and expertise. The new ocean-splitting Africa represents both an ending and a beginning, an ending of the old model of scientific colonialism and extraction, a beginning of African-led research and discovery that could revolutionize our understanding of human history and potential. But this transformation will only succeed if we support African institutions, researchers and communities in their efforts to reclaim control over their own scientific heritage. The statistics don't lie. Africa is the birthplace of humanity. The continent contains the most complete record of human evolution on Earth. African innovations in technology, culture and social organization laid the foundation for all subsequent human development. The new ocean forming in the East African Rift will make these truths impossible to ignore or suppress, but it will also create new challenges for preserving and studying this irreplaceable heritage. We need your help to support African-led research and ensure that the discoveries emerging from the transforming continent benefit all of humanity while respecting African sovereignty and expertise. Tell us where you're watching from. Are you in Africa, where this geological transformation is reshaping the landscape of human origins? Europe or North America, where institutions are struggling to maintain control over African discoveries? Or somewhere else entirely, where these revelations about human evolution are challenging established narratives? Drop a comment below and share your location. Tell us what you think about the systematic exclusion of African researchers from studies of their own continent's heritage. Have you noticed bias in how African discoveries are reported in your region? Your voice matters in this transformation. Together, we can support African leadership in studying the birthplace of humanity and ensure that the new ocean-splitting Africa reveals truths that benefit all of humanity rather than serving the interests of institutions that have profited from African exclusion. The continent that gave birth to humanity is transforming before our eyes. The question is whether we'll support African voices in interpreting this transformation or allow the same old patterns of extraction and control to continue. The new ocean is coming whether we're ready or not. But how we respond to its emergence will determine whether this geological transformation becomes an opportunity for African empowerment or another chapter in the long history of scientific colonialism. The birthplace of humanity deserves better. Africa deserves to lead the study of its own heritage and the world deserves to hear African voices telling the story of human origins and evolution. The rift is widening. The ocean is forming. The truth about Africa's central role in human history is emerging. The only question is whether we'll listen.